When you think about it, panning for gold is a very mysterious process. We move the pan in various ways, back and forth, round and around, all to manipulate a material, gold, which we can't see because it's buried under all of this debris. I got to wondering, how does the gold really move and how could I show that? And I got uh, a very simple idea. I found a clear plastic bowl whose angle here was the same as in my uh, Garrett Super Sluice pan. And uh, what I thought I would do is put some black sand and uh, a layer of gold on the top and then film it from the top as I shook it and also have a camera underneath looking up to see how long it took the gold to migrate from the top to the bottom. So I used uh, about a half a cup of magnetite, pure black sand, and uh, an, a half a gram of uh, gold from plus 20 down to plus 50 sizes because I wanted to see how everything would react. And it worked, and yet it didn't. I got some very interesting and surprising results. And here they are. Here you can see the half a gram of gold sitting on top of the black sand. Now I start shaking it and you can see it slowly disappears as it settles to the bottom. And here's the view from the bottom. This is from the camera looking up through the transparent gold pan to the bottom edge. As I shake it and shake it some more, I expected the gold to show up. Gold is supposed to be heavy and therefore settle to the very bottom edge. It doesn't happen. I figured I just needed to shake longer to give it a chance to get down to the bottom edge, so I do. In fact, I shook for a total of 10 minutes and the gold never showed up at the bottom of the pan. To find out what's going on, I drained the water off and very carefully with a spoon scraped off the top layers until I got down to the gold. And finally, there are the first few flakes showing through. In spite of all the shaking, the gold wasn't on the bottom of the pan, but an eighth to a quarter of an inch above the bottom. There was black sand underneath it. I panned off all but about a quarter teaspoon of the black sand. Most of the, the pile you're looking down on here is actually the gold. While well, the gold is clearly visible from the top as it's shaken, while we look up through the transparent pan to the bottom of the black sand, you can see that the gold never really settles below the black sand. There's always a layer of black sand between the pan and the gold. I found this extremely surprising. I had watched lots of YouTube videos and they all said the gold settles to the bottom of the pan, and it turns out it doesn't. It settles towards the bottom but it actually isn't laying on the very bottom of the pan during a panning process. So, I hope you found uh, these results as interesting as I did, and if you have any explanation or ideas why the gold doesn't settle to the very bottom, I'd appreciate a comment about it. In any event, thank you very much for watching. I hope you'd enjoy it.